Today we're on site installing an automatic lubrication system on a haul truck. We will be going through the main features and benefits of this system. Starting at ground level, you'll remove the dust cover and connect the quick connector to the fill stud on the remote fill manifold, allowing the fill pump to fill the auto lube pump reservoir with grease. You will notice the pressure rises once the reservoir is full. Then you'll turn off the pump and disconnect the quick connector from the manifold and relieve the pressure by pulling this pressure relief plunger. You no longer need to climb up to refill the reservoir. Everything can be done from ground level. You just need to connect it, power on your fill pump, and let it refill. Next, we have injectors located all around the truck. We can see here on the right side of the truck that there are eight injectors. Here we can see the main grease supply line. The main line connects to the manifold and then the hoses from the injectors go to the different lube points on the truck. We can see here that the hoses are connected to the different grease points. These injectors also have transparent dust caps so that you can confirm that your injectors are functioning properly. We can see that the indicator pin is in the up position. This means that the pump is not running and the injectors are waiting for the pump to start building up pressure in the system. During the lube cycle, the indicator pins in the Graco injectors will go down. If the indicator pins are all down, then every one of them dispense grease to a lube point. During the vent time, indicator pins will go up, showing that they are ready for the next cycle. You will notice that the truck has nine injectors on the left side. You can see that these nine injectors all have hoses going to the lube points. Here we can see the main line coming from the pump, which connects here. Here is the manifold for this bank of injectors. The manifolds are connected to each other here. Grease flows inside these manifolds and then into the injectors, which distribute predetermined amounts of grease to the lube points. Let's go check out the back of the truck. There are 18 injectors located on the rear of the truck. We installed these injectors facing towards the ground for easier monitoring and servicing in the future. There are grease zerks on the injectors in case manual lubrication is ever required. Here are the hoses to the grease points. The hoses are being spiral wrapped in order to help protect them. Let's head to the truck's cab. Here we can see the GLCX controller located in the driver's cabin. As you can see on the screen, the grease level in the reservoir is 47%. This specific auto lube kit is full of advanced features utilizing the compact Dynastar pump with auto fill shutoff, a remote fill manifold, and a GLCX controller. The compact Dynastar's level and pressure sensors provide a reading of the grease level inside the reservoir so you can plan your refills accordingly. We see that the pump will be activated in 54 minutes. The GLCX controller also has a Bluetooth feature. We can connect to it using Graco's AutoLube app via smartphone or tablet and check the various metrics and lube events from the AutoLube system. This includes the current temperature, how long it was working at each temperature, and the min and max temperatures. Here is the manual run button. When pressed, we see that the lube cycle is set to 10 minutes and the pressure is at 70 bars or 1000 PSI. The pressure sensors are able to give us this info. When the system hits 210 bars or 3000 PSI, the GLCX controller will turn the pump off and open the vent valve to allow the system to vent, resetting the injectors for the next lube cycle. We can see that the pressure is being built up, the injectors are working, and the indicator pins are going down. If needed, we can press the cancel button and the lube event will stop. Now we'll go take a look at the pump. We still need to install a coupler before we can connect this hose coming from the remote fill manifold that we discussed at the beginning of this video. This is an AFSO or auto fill shutoff. As soon as the grease reservoir is full, a pin will pop up closing the filling port and indicate to us that the pump is full. Here is the vent line from the remote fill manifold that will relieve pressure after we refill the pump. The pump is running right now. Here is the wiring harness. Here is a vent valve. Here is the level sensor. It tells us the level of grease inside the reservoir as a percentage. Here is the main line going to the injector manifolds. Then we have a gauge and pressure sensor. You just saw the pressure was relieved and the lube cycle was completed. Here's the harness that goes from the pump to the GLCX controller. The pump is getting its power from the controller. The controller is connected to the truck's power. While a lubrication system may seem complicated at first glance, when broken down in its basic components, it is actually fairly simple. 
Understanding these components will make it easier to design and order parts for a system, as well as troubleshoot and repair an existing system. Graco and our network of authorized distributors can help you design and specify the right system for your application.